Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our BMW X5, then I'll take you for a ride in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a BMW X5 3 litre SE Auto X Drive. 2014 on a 14 plate, has got the full panoramic roof and sat nav, has done 90,666 miles, but will have done a few more because I'm doing this uh, test drive. Fuel economy. Urban, 40.4 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 49.6 miles per gallon. And combined is 45.6 miles per gallon. Has a 0-60 time of 6.9 seconds. A top speed of 142 miles per hour out of a 254 brake horsepower, 24 valve, 6 cylinder engine. Road tax, 6 months is 110 pounds and 12 months is 200. So we've got uh, Xenon headlights the BMW kidney shaped grille. Remember this because the new one looks hideous. Front parking sensors. Got the five twin spoke alloy wheels. This wing protector here, that's made out of plastic there. We've got the inbuilt side steps, power folding door mirrors. It's got the full glass panoramic roof, which, you, which is really nice. And the upholstery in here is a fantastic colour. When the blind's back, it's, uh, it's beautiful inside. It, it looks really classy. Rear privacy glass. So we've got the integrated rear tailgate spoiler. Tailgate opens from the key. It's power open too. And then you've got a little handle there to uh, put that down make it easier to load it's like new in the back as well we've got this uh, heavy duty load cover and then oops, and the rear roller black easy for me to say and the and the rear roller blind as I say beautiful absolutely beautiful car rear parking sensors the twin exhaust tips being careful to step, step on the mat here. It, it really is nice in here. The leather is absolutely beautiful. It's a, kind of a, a cocoa color. I'm not sure the exact, I should know it. We have sold this car before and, and we've taken it back in. Rear center armrest, cup holders, the Isofix rear child seat anchor points. It's got um, fitted carpet mats over the back. As I say, this, this, this pan roof, it's, uh, it's, it's, really, it's a really, really nice car. And the, the brushed aluminium. And as far as I can see, everything's unmarked and it's still, you just, you wouldn't believe the car had, had done this many miles. Looks like it's just come out of the showroom. I'll just take you for riding it. kind of Star Trek design BMW key there. It's keyless ignition, so you just need to find somewhere to put that, if not in your pocket. Well, there's keyless ignition. I'll just uh, read you the service history. Good service history on this car. 07th, 08, 2015 at 15,789 miles, Baron's BMW. 30th of the 12th, 2016. 32,910 miles, again Baron's BMW, 24th of the 3rd, 2017, 35,635 miles, Baron's BMW, 5th of the 10th, 2017, 42,936 miles, Baron's BMW, 28th of the 3rd, 2018, 49,545 miles, Baron's BMW, 28th of the 3rd, 2018, 63,305 miles, Baron's BMW, 19th of the 6th, 2019, 67,489 miles, Baron's BMW. And then we have, um, it's had the brake fluid changed on the 26th of the 4th, 2021. And uh, just to cover the name up there, We've not had a chance to redact that and uh, 10th of the 11th 2020 
84,636 miles service there too it's now done 90,666 it's it's a really lovely car the, the when we first bought this it, it it's um the color combination is absolutely beautiful dark blue metallic on the outside and then this lovely cocoa leather with uh, i'm not sure cappuccino stitching i'm getting very arty in my old age so uh, also this kind of i'm pretty sure it's fake brushed aluminium but it, it looks like it and then piano black and um, lovely cockpit in the bmw let's just see um we've got memory seats here two position memory seats let's just see where they take us There we go, that's position two, <laughs> position one. All right, so that, that's that's position one. So anyway, let's uh, let's get back. Also, it's got kind of the Recaro style seat, so you can pull this this bit, this leg rest or thigh support out. Uh, so really, really comfortable um, car to drive. Let's just have a look. Also, what else have we got? Oh, thank goodness for that because in the in the video earlier I said it was um, power folding door mirrors and then I couldn't remember whether it was also let's just check the where's the wipers yeah it's got headlamp wash wipe too just checking all my facts so I, I don't mislead anybody um, for some reason I can't I can't quite get comfortable in this this car I couldn't on the way up but I think that's more down to the way I sit than the, the actual car um, it does have the iPad display there and it is uh, it's a it's a kind of lovely display it's it's more like a a, a painting than a than a screen as you can see there I'm sure we can zoom in and zoom out from the iDrive on a BMW BMW's good ideas, the iDrive. Um, although, having said that, of course it controls just about everything. So, if it does go wrong, you, you've got to, re or if any part of it goes wrong, you've got to replace the whole unit. Which uh, I was just listening to a program on the way up here about banning peat or the sale of peat, and the, and then they allow car manufacturers to make switches that control the whole car and you, you have to replace the whole thing um so we've we've also got where is it there you go electric height and reach adjustable steering wheel we've got the paddle shift so it's automatic uh, you can move that over there change up and down like so it's got the BMW suspension which I'm not a big fan of loads and loads of people like it in fact the majority of people like it because I believe it's one of the most searched terms on Auto Trader. I hate it but don't let me put you off it in an environment like this the car drives really really nice a very sporty feel to it so there you go it just it's uh, just minor steering input and you're away. You've also got these here. We can go into Sport, go into Sport Plus. Um, just a dynamic traction activated then. Dynamic driving with limited driving stabilization. That's, that's just what you need. Not sport, dynamic driving, comfort, and then you've got eco, which um, eco will do the stop start, which I'm not a big fan of. So, lovely day today. Cars looking at its best. It was clean, although on the way up here, although it was supposed to be sunny today, it absolutely lashed down. And of course, country roads, 
there was also a spillage um, of trying to think of a nice word for it uh, manure there was a spillage of manure and it was all over the road uh, and then the traffic had, had spread it everywhere so um, the car this car is lovely um, hopefully that will come through in the photographs but I, I can assure you it is it drives absolutely fantastic it did when we took it in a good while ago uh, we sold it very very quickly we had a few people after it to be honest and uh, we've taken it back into stock just need to get and this is uh, it is a lovely place to drive it test the steering and suspension and this awful Benway I always meet a tractor coming the other way or some lunatic oh, we've, we've managed We've managed to avoid it today. I've still got it in manual. It is a very, very smooth gearbox. It's a great engine, I have to say. Heated seats, we've got climate control, Bluetooth hands free uh, telephone. Uh, you've also got this um, regenerative braking kind of. Uh, so it puts electricity back in the battery and stores it for when you need it. So if I take my foot off the accelerator here, you probably can't see from here, but there's a, a little gauge at the bottom there and it goes over here from naught up to 60 and then goes into blue, that's, uh, what's it called? Efficient Dynamics or something, I don't know. Some f fancy name for recharging the battery. Um, it doesn't slow you down like in an electric car. So in an electric car, of course, these days, the regenerative braking it, it's, it's like you take your foot off the accelerator, driving the motors backwards and the car slows down very, very quickly. And uh, because your brakes, lights don't come on and uh, people nearly run into the back of you. So you haven't got that problem with this BMW, but it does supposedly save you your fuel by uh, allowing the batteries to charge and then using that power when it's actually under load and putting it back in when it's not. Got cruise control on the left hand side here. I'll switch the cruise control on and if I just click that little, I mean it was a stupid place to put cruise control on but I wasn't really tested it. But there you go, so you switch it on there and you've got plus and minus there. So you can just flick up and click your speed up or click it down using that thumb wheel. Quite a lot of feel through the steering wheel. The tyres on a on X5s are quite harsh. But it's um, it's a nice drive very good looking car one of the one of the best looking four-wheel drive vehicles I would say certainly better than the uh, Audis and Mercedes-Benz
nothing looks as good as a Range Rover. So, so far, um, this, we, we test drive each vehicle before we offer them for sale, make sure everything's okay. Um, I've done 31 miles in it so far, and it's probably 20 mile back to base, so we, do a, we now do a 50 mile test drive, looking out for stuff. As I say, I've, only, I've already done 30 miles. I can't find anything wrong with this vehicle. There's no rattles. No bumps, no knocks from the suspension, and this terrain really would find it out. Um, there's lots of potholes. Um, the danger also with, I think it's got run flats on this, although that would probably be one of the first things I'd change if it was my vehicle. I don't like run flats, I think the, the ride's too harsh. And I also think that um, low profile run flats um, and a pothole and, you, and you've got a buckled alloy um, usually you can tell it's like sort of a, a bobbling effect when you're driving up the motorway can't feel anything from this car so I would suggest that everything all the wheels are good lovely uh, pan roof there um, to be honest I, I didn't uh, I didn't actually know it was um, so we've got a, we've got a dual the dual pan roof <laughs> I'm sure I didn't know that so there you go that's that's brilliant so the uh, kids in the back the people in the back they've got their own roof too with a bit of luck, the, both the controls are up the front here and they won't be able to reach it and keep putting it up and down. And you can knock the back, the electric back windows off here too, like you can in, obviously, most cars. I think I mentioned the heated seats, but the switch is there. CD radio, you've got just there two cup holders under kind of a, a louvered shutter. Your eye drive, your mode switch is there. hill hold, looks like there's some sheep just on the bend here so there's always a possibility there's some on the road just around the corner because they, they tend to hang around in groups <laughs> or flocks as they're, they're sometimes known <laughs> in the farming community. It is a, it is a a four-wheel drive with a sporty feel to it. Massively popular these when they came out. They, they had a an absolutely awesome residual value which meant you could put them out on contract hire for I think it was £300 a month at the, at the time and uh, 
the salesman who knew how to work the finance, the contract hire machine, made a killing. But then there was a glut on, of them on the market three years later, and that kind of dipped the residuals. But they, they're just even now. And this is, this is great value for money. little car behind me which isn't staying its distance but I, uh, I wish he wasn't there I'm sure that my leisurely drive is stopping him from getting where he wants to go quicker as soon as I can I'll just pull over and let him go through this is an awful little bridge there it's one of those that you if you're on a motorbike you have to change direction in uh, what could be in mid-flight if you're just going a little bit too fast there we go we'll let this guy go past and uh, Ben coming up here. Shame that butty van isn't open, I'm starving. I think it's only about quarter past nine or something in the morning. We've um, we've virtually completed our move now to new premises. So haven't been able to do any videos for the last couple of weeks, we've been too busy. I'm just kind of getting back into the swing. I'm not looking forward to working till probably 10 o'clock at night like I usually do when I'm doing a video. Got a bit lazy. But it is lovely to be able to come out and drive a nice car in the country. As part of your job. I suppose there's worse things to do. It's, it's just, it really is a nice car. And, and that's coming for somebody who has an intense dislike for BMWs. It's a nice car. So I'll, uh, I'll finish the drive there, really. We're just coming to the end of the, the beautiful part of the country here by the, the river. And um, I can, as I say, I can't find any faults with it at all. Everything works, drives beautiful, nice and quiet, no rattles. It's got the, the twin sunroof or twin pan roof. And uh, it's, I would imagine, probably the the best, if not one of the best examples that you could buy for the money. You certainly wouldn't think the way it drives. It had done 90,000 miles, and the way it looks, you'd probably think it had done 20,000 miles, if that. So it's credit to the previous owners. Everybody's looked after it. 
we're happy to see it back and uh, I'll see you in the next video I'm not sure what that will be we've got another Range Rover in we've got two Evokes coming in um, we've got a, an older Citroen C3 which should probably sell before I get time to video it and uh, and that's it so good to be back with the videos thanks for watching if it's been of any benefit please like and subscribe if you have any suggestions for the channel again we I think we're approaching 20,000 subscribers now with uh, nearly 20 million views could be wrong about that might be 19 anyway it's a lot <laughs> it's uh, it's more than I can count on my fingers so thanks for watching See you in the next video.